I just know it's crazy because like when a person going, like I actually seen how it feel to be in the army. Three different bullets in you, three different guns shooting at you, not just one. You feel me? Like, and I'm glad the third gun didn't hit me. Only two of them did. You feel me? A 380 and a nine. So at the end of the day, it's like, I seen how it felt to be in the army, like in the night. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I actually stopped running, I guess, to pace myself. I don't know. You feel me? To not panic. You feel what I'm saying? But then I made it home. I don't know how. All I know is that's where I died at. I died in my living room, I guess. And they said I died on the ambulance, and I died at the hospital two times. You feel what I'm saying? It had two heart attacks. So at the end of the day, I was in a coma after all this. So I don't know if I died. I don't know. I don't know nothing. Right. You feel me? I just know where I was. And if right, when it comes to waking up, uh, take us through the process of again, like you said, you're paralyzed. Take us through the process of waking up and knowing what happened and seeing how you are. Take us through like the hospital. Uh, I woke up like two weeks later. Uh. Before I woke up, though, I thought I was in the woods. I uh, thought I was in the woods. Like, I ain't going to care. Eating high fry. <laughs> that's my favorite. Like, that's doing my favorite trip now. I ain't never ate a bag of high fries, like, back then, before I got shot. I was just in the woods eating high fries, and I seen little kids. You feel me? And I seen adults, and I seen, like, people. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like I was talking to people. You know, and they was talking to me, and I had a motherfucking gown on from the hospital, it looked like. You know, uh, when I woke up, uh, I didn't know what happened. You know, the doctor didn't tell me what, what the day was. They didn't say what happened to me. They didn't tell me my hand, my arm, or none of that shit was gonna be like this. Uh, they didn't tell me, uh, that I was gonna have memory loss. Uh, they didn't even tell me I was a vegetable. You feel me? They didn't tell me I was on life support. They didn't tell me nothing. You know, like I woke up with my mouth open with tubes down my throat and I had tubes. They put, okay, I'm gonna come back to what you asked me to, but I mean, asked me about, but uh, I was the first person in 2020 to have a machine that Baylor just got or whatever, and they never used it. You feel me? And it was a machine that tubes, that tubes go through your legs. You feel me? And it went from here all the way down my legs on both sides, I guess. And it was just pumping me up, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and they had me on life support at the same time. So basically, I was in a bubble. They had me in a bubble. Basically, it was like a, a, a incubator. You feel what I'm saying? And like they said, they this is what they telling my people. They never used it. They never uh, seen what it could do. They just know that it could save my life. You feel me? Like that's all they tell my mom. So. Uh, Next thing I know, that's, I guess I was dead for like 45 minutes to an hour. They were trying to bring me back to life. It took them two days to try to bring me back to life. So, I mean, not two days. It took a whole day and then until the next day. 